How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, also known as Terrell352, and I'm just going to do a quick little gaming test uh, for the Verizon Home Internet Router, the 5G one. C-Band will be launching tomorrow morning. So before uh, we get into it, I want to, you know, just tell you how my experience has been. It's been very solid. Ping times are incredibly low. It is capped to 50 megabits per second for download and 5 megabits per second for the upload. So just keep that in mind. But come tomorrow, uh, I don't know if it already has the firmware ready to go for C-Band, but I think it does. It should just immediately pick up in internet speeds come midnight tonight or by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So today is January uh, 18th. It's a Tuesday. And we're going to do a little Call of Duty test on this bad boy. And we're going to go ahead and switch it over. And before I do that, I want to show a speed test to show that it is indeed um, capped. Okay. And we will go ahead and run it. Oops. And I'm going to put the speed test right in front so you guys can see it. And it's going to start going down. Now, normally, um, uncapped on a regular network, the low band speeds are significantly better than this. But not bad. But the cap is real. You can go to other websites, other people. The cap is is there it's real sadly it's there okay so look right there very good speeds though i mean the ping times are great the jitter is low enough there's no packet loss good deal okay just for a quick comparison uh, let's see what t-mobile home internet is doing right now and we'll just do that one more time Okay. Better pings thanks to that new Ericsson equipment. You know, this is kind of peak times for T-Mobile for me, so the speeds have actually been getting slower. And I've noticed the speeds are slower on iPhone than it is on Android for whatever reason. But the ping times are great, the jitter is fine. No packet loss usually. There you go. Uh, peak speeds are about 550 to 600 peak. And then the peak uploads are in the 90s. So very good for T-Mobile too. And uh, let me get the network set up for Verizon. And I'll be right back. Okay. We have it set up now. You can see right there, the Verizon one's hooked up. T-Mobile's over there in the corner. We're going to sideline it for a second. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to play some COD. Highly recommend that Guardians uh, of the Galaxy game too. Pretty awesome game. Okay. Doing some downloading right now, so that's good. Pretty quick for 50 megabits per second. Now, the only thing about this is it's obviously a 60, it's 50 megabits per second. So I never could fully rely on this for downloading games because it, games are very, very, very data heavy. You know, Call of Duty, I think, if you download it in its entirety, is over what a hundred it's a lot it's over it can be up to 100 gigs so realistically 50 megabits per second trying to download 100 gigs i'd be sitting here for an entire day almost waiting on this to download where t-mobile which isn't capped it can go two three four hundred it only takes me you know 20 30 minutes to download a game so it's fine
<sighs> Turn the mic off so they don't see that I'm doing a review. And it looks like I might be the host of the game, so this is definitely going to show if Verizon can handle being a, you know, being a temporary server, which in my experience is great. Once you download a game for Verizon from some other source because it's so big, the 50 megabits won't cut it. The ping times, the download and everything is fine and it works usually without hiccup. T-Mobile works without hiccup also. And I would honestly say their home internet works better than their actual actual wireless service somehow, some way. It never gets like the, the little hiccup that randomly happens. Granted, I don't personally see that on Ericsson Towers, but when I get to Nokia Towers, you know, I could be hitting two, three, four hundred on T-Mobile and still get that hiccup where nothing loads for whatever reason. You gotta airplane mode the phone to get it to work. So but with Eric, with every Ericsson tower that goes away. But right now with Verizon, I just I don't see that problem anywhere. If they don't load, it's because they don't have any. They're congested. That's why. We're doing free for all. Just a quick little look. Okay. Well, I don't have my gaming headset, so this is gonna be a little harder to deal with right now. But we'll see. Oh shoot. Down, down, down. Looks like someone's gonna come over here and kill me, but we'll see. Flash out. Roll out. Boom, boom, boom. See, it's working pretty great. <laughs> Give someone. <sighs> he got away. Shoot! Uh! Gone. But you get the picture, there's no hiccups, no stutter, everything's working great. You're representing the company. Work clean, work fast. Enemy spy plane in. It's fine. Everything's good. I think you guys get the picture. Alright. So just a little quick test. I was just showing you guys what, what it can do. No problems. Return of Mr. Bricks, if you want to add me on PlayStation. PS5 right there in the corner. Everything's good. All right. We'll go ahead and go back. Uh, we know what that can do. And there's the box over here. Sitting chilling next to Goku. And uh, that should do it for the gaming review for this. I think you guys get the picture. Um, no other game I have on here really does multiplayer like that, so it's not really going to matter whether I have it or not. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's been working great for me. I can't wait to do a speed test uh, once it goes live tomorrow for C-Band. See if the internet speeds improve. Hopefully it reaches in here. I'm sure it will. From what I've been noticing, Verizon has already launched... Um, carrier aggregation between band five. So the C band actually goes further than T-Mobile's or just as far as T-Mobile's N41, just from that. T-Mobile also will be doing the same thing, but they haven't done it yet. But we'll have a comparison video between those two uh, once Verizon launches C band tomorrow. So anyways, everybody uh, just do me a quick favor, hit the like uh, button, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Terrell352 going to be a great year um i have a, a video coming that's going to compare at&t c-band to verizon c-band to t-mobile n41 all from the same site now i think you know what you're talking about if uh if you look at one of my earlier videos 
um, there was a tower, I call it the Holy Grail Tower, and it had C-Band from Verizon and AT&T. It also had N41 from T-Mobile. So I'm going to go back to that tower and do a showdown for you guys to see uh, which one is performing the best. I will be doing um, range tests on the C-Band also. So we're going to do that. But until then, I am Mobile Master Tech. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.